Imagine having a printer that makes you custom clothes on demand. That's exactly what this apparel company is trying to do. And we can actually print a blazer in about 93 minutes here. Ministry of Supply debuted the giant 3D knitting machine at their flagship store on Boston's trendy Newberry Street in March. The performance dress clothes company was started in 2012 by two MIT engineering students. We talk about kind of 3D print knit and it sounds like it's more just a manufacturing innovation. But actually what makes it special is it's so much more. It affects design, make, and sell, right? All, all parts of how the business operates. But more specifically, the customer gets to be part of the creative process and choose what color patterns, what buttons they like, what kind of cuffs they want. The machine is built by Japanese firm Shimaseki. While some clothing companies have used it in factories, this is the first time any retailer has brought it to the storefront. It's got 4,000 needles, and each of those can be uh, actuated, so you can create everything from changing the material composition in an area, you can create 3D shape and structure. Right now, the machine is set up to make just one piece of clothing, a knitted blazer. We want to start with this kind of elevated, beautiful piece that people often think of as somewhat uncomfortable. One of our customers described it as saying it felt like they put on a hug. So I decided to make one myself. All right, so I'm going to pick my body color and my cuff color. And then mm, buttons. I feel like I should go for this one. OK. And that's it, yeah. Oh, that's it. That's so easy. The machine starts up. It's loud. Moving back and forth, it pulls down the yarn from the spools above as the needles stitch the blazer. The floor shakes as it works. And not unlike the printer in your office, sometimes it jams. In this case, one of the threads of yarn had snapped. But after some quick under-the-hood maintenance, it was back online. About 90 minutes later, the new blazer emerged. Given the knitting time of it, it's better for making things like blazers, but it doesn't make sense to make a t-shirt on the machine right now. The blazers aren't quite ready to wear at this point. There are some finishing touches, and then it's washed to shrink to the correct size. Buttons are added. The company says that right now, customers have to wait about three to five days for their new jacket. I tried one off the rack that had been manufactured earlier. Ministry of Supply hopes to increase the kinds of garments it can make this way, and its founders are hopeful that this technology could lead to sweeping changes across retail. At some point, we think that you know, we're going to hit a, a bottom of where there's cheap manufacturing labor. We'll need technology like this to actually continue to stimulate the workers and, and allow people to be part of that creative process.